Okay, so let's calculate expected return based on the capital asset pricing model. Right Now that we know that expected return should only be based on the systematic risk that the asset endures, we need to rethink and recalculate our, our expected returns. And of course, this is a more realistic way to calculate expected returns because it is not reliant on us knowing perfectly the potential future states in the world and the probability of those future states. In other words, using the CAPM, we can calculate the expected return for a stock based only on its systematic risk, which is a huge, huge benefit for the practical use of this model. We don't need to know things about the future that we can't possibly know. Okay? So we have the betas for our assets, Yahoo through Keithley. We have the risk-free rate, What we the T-bill rate is the typical risk-free rate, 4.15%. Expected market return, 12.65. What's the expected return for each? Well, the expected return is based on the capital asset pricing model, which says that the expected return for any asset is equal to the risk-free rate, RF, plus the beta on the asset. Right? This is this measure of systematic risk exposure. times what we call the market risk premium, which is the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate. Okay, so this whole term in the parentheses is called the market risk premium. But we are not given the market risk premium, we're given the expected market return. This is the expected market return. or the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate. So we've got to do that calculation on our own time. Okay. So we can come back here, we'll use the cap M for each of these. Right. The risk-free rate 0 0.0415 plus the beta for Yahoo 2.685 times the difference between the expected return on the market, 0.1265, and the risk-free rate gives me 0.2697, right? which is the capital asset pricing model's expected return for Yahoo, 26.97%. We can do it for all of our stocks. For Coca-Cola, risk-free rate plus the beta for Coca-Cola, 0 0.0195. Everything else is the same. The market risk premium here is the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate. We get an expected return for Coca-Cola of 4.315%. For Intel, risk-free rate, the beta for Intel is 2.161. Market return, 1265, minus the risk-free rate of 415. Our expected return for Intel is 22.52%. And finally, for Keithley, risk-free rate, 4.15%. Beta for Keithley, 2.434. Expected market return minus the risk-free rate is the market risk premium. Multiply that by beta and we get 24.84% is the expected return for Keithley Industries.